So 17 years ago, maybe almost to the day, we started Santiago the company. And um, we kept on building. We were at the same office for 17 years, an office most of you were at. And I've always really had a great time in that office. I know it wasn't the best office. <laughs> But I really enjoyed the office. I enjoyed, there's a lot of memories. And um, it's always hard to leave memories behind. I remember the owner of the office uh, had a beautiful garden. <clears throat> and it was one of the very few, even though it's a, it's a residential building, but it was still an office. And remember 17 years ago, there weren't the Gamma or any of these places. So having an office with a garden was a big uh, achievement always say we have a garden and the guy would come down every morning and he would take care of the garden and he would cut the flowers and he would find a rose every almost every morning and he would bring the rose to the office manager and it was um, and, and sometimes he would take me out to lunch and so it was a lot of memories a lot of people have come and gone and and for me uh, people like Muhammad Nabil and, and Yasser and Munir and the people have been in Russia uh, so Russia was already married, but all the people that uh, that were fresh out of college, to see them have the first job, um, helping me build something that we really weren't sure what we were building, uh, but we had a vision. And some people immigrated to Australia, um, and uh, and then to see them grow professionally and grow personally and um, meet their spouses, have children, uh, buy their first car, uh, move into their first apartment. Um, so I've seen a lot of really growth and um, a lot of people's lives changed. And to me, that was really the most um, significant success is to see people's lives changing and to see them um, have their own families and and grow and also grow professionally there's a lot of people that have come and left and started companies and, and have done extremely very well for themselves working for other companies and to me that was also success so the measure of success for me is maybe different than the traditional or the standard measure of success, which is a lot of money or or a big building or a big office, success for me was very different. Um, and I enjoyed it, and I really did. <clears throat> My kids came and visited that office and played with the guy upstairs who had a, a big German shepherd and he was growing pigeons. And, and I have a lot of pictures and really a lot of memories in that place. But I know it wasn't going to be doesn't matter how satisfied I was with the place. I knew deep inside that, that professionally we need to grow. And, and then a year ago, almost to the day, October 23rd, um, I received a call from Wissam. Um, my father-in-law had died the day before, on Sunday. And on Monday, we had to uh, go bury him. And I was <clears throat> in the burial and, and someone said uh, that the servers had, had gone down on Friday. So now it's Monday and then they've come up again on Saturday. And then Monday the 23rd of October, which is today's date. So Sam calls me and, and said, I think we have a problem. So I came back uh, from, the, from the funeral home and I remember standing in um, in the room, the bedroom, and Wissam was telling me that um, we're done. The servers are gone, the data is gone, the backup is gone, everything is gone. And I remember just pacing back and forth, and those who know me know that I really don't stress it doesn't matter what happens around me. I'm, I'm usually not a person that stresses over many things, <laughs> almost anything, uh, except if something happened, you know, with my kids. That's probably the, the worst. 
but um, but I remember telling him, no, 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 I can't believe this. This is not happening. This is really not happening. Don't tell me that because the business was doing really well. And I got on the phone and I was yelling and screaming at the data center and and that was it. There was really nothing to be done. We're done. Um, and you know, we came back to the office and got everybody around and said, Here, here's the situation. And um, this is maybe over the last 12 months that if there's anything that uh, I have realized in the last 12 months is how, um, how blessed we are as a company and how blessed I am as an individual. Uh, because what had happened for the last 12 months is probably something that is no short than a miracle. Um, everyone in this company played a very significant and vital role in getting us back on track. Uh, people were being creative, uh, they were being innovative, resourceful, uh, staying all night, and it wasn't pleasant talking, me getting on the phone and talking to partners and really have nothing to say, and, and seeing our, our, um, our revenue almost close to disappearing. Um, and we had one of our investors, the only investor that we had in the company, uh, really stepping up and we're saying we're not going to have money for the next couple of months and and uh, We're gonna have to not bill anyone and, and We're talking hundreds and thousands of dollars and, and That you know George is kept kind of funding and funding and I told him I, I, I promise to uh, You know that we're gonna we're gonna make it um, And the business, the business um, recovered. And this is what I mean that I felt that professionally we were blessed, we're blessed to have you um, as our employees and, and the management and, and the leadership. And, uh, and you couldn't ask for a bigger or better blessing for a company than having great employees. And, um, this could have been really the end of the story. It could have been, okay, we're back in business. and and uh, But when you really think of the blessings is we've not only back in business, the business had exploded. And the business started really getting larger projects, more partners, more work. And, and, and we recovered in, in a grand way. And the result of, uh, of this growth and recovery is really where we're standing today. Um, I, I think 12 months ago, if someone crazy enough was to come and ask me if we're going to have a new office, <laughs> um, I would have said, uh, I don't know if in 12 months we're gonna have an office, but yes, there's a vision. And yes, we're gonna achieve that vision somehow. And, and I don't think I'd be lying because I don't think I've ever, when I communicated with people over years that, you know, yes, we are going to get a new office. Yes, we're going to do this. It, it's, it's a vision, you know, and, and some people maybe don't understand that a vision is not a switch, is not something that you say it's going to happen on that day, but a, a vision is something that you have to keep chasing. But you have to believe in it. Maybe the road is too long. Maybe for some it is. For those who don't believe in the vision, it's a long road. For those who believe in it, it's a much easier path on that road because you get to enjoy all the small wins and all the small successes along the way. So I'm very grateful and thankful for all of you who kind of stayed on that long path and saw the wins, the small successes, and the failures. 
So I'm glad you got to experience this because not everybody gets to experience it. And I hope that, that you get to see that, wow, I was part of that journey and I've learned throughout that. And for the new ones, this is definitely not the end. It may seem like an end, it's a really nice place. But I can, I can see bigger vision and I can see us doing more and more. And I, I really hope um, that, that you stay along that path, you know, with us, as we see what happens in the next 12 months, 24, 36, and, you know, until we retire. <laughs> I'll probably retire a lot sooner because I'm a lot older, but, um, but I hope you stay. And, 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 and once again, this is your place. I'm, I'm very grateful and very thankful and, and very appreciative and truly very blessed um, to have um, people like you working, uh, working with me and, and working with us. So I, I very much appreciate it. This is a congratulations to you, not to me, uh, definitely to you because you've kind of created this success. And so I, for that, I really want to thank you.